Uh, right guys, welcome back to the channel, and we've got a, well, local celebrity for me, <laughs> um, <laughs> is, uh, Stuart Hay, and he is a Scottish writer, he does a lot of work for BBC, and we'll get to it, but he's going to be in one of the biggest well-known Scottish comedy sketch shows uh, of the year, coming hug me uh, but anyway, we'll start off with how you keep me anyway. I'm alright mate, I'm all good, I just, uh... That lot's changed for me, man. I still, I'm still working. <laughs> I mean, like, it, man, there's a lot of people that have been followed for quite a long time and all the year stuff, but none ever changed for me, man. Like, I was a postman for 11 years. And oh, I've seen your, I've seen your video. <laughs> <for that. laughs> yeah, right, let me see. My, my big, uh, my big quitting video. Uh, right. <laughs> and I just, the sounds even, even then, I just changed over to an eleven delivery company, man. It was going to offer me a wee bit more money, and uh, so it's nothing's changed for me at all, man. Just life as usual. Only I can't go to the pub. What about yourself? That's it, mate, aye, that's yeah. it. What about you? How are you getting on? Aye, no bad, mate. Obviously, I get made redundant for that last job, and I'm working at a different place now where I can't actually mention it on this. <laughs> right, no <bother. laughs> but, but I can't, I can't even mention, no. I'll mention it when we come off the video. <laughs> <laughs> right, so, uh, so growing up, obviously you're a Scottish writer now, you've done a lot of different comedy sketches and that, but see, like, growing up and stuff, what is it you wanted to do? I wanted to be a rock star, mate. Oh, did you? Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to be a musician. Uh, that's what I've always wanted to be. Uh, still want to be. I mean, this is just a wee flash in the pan, mate. I'm going to go back. <laughs> no. uh, I always wanted to be a musician. That was it. Uh, growing up, music was a big thing. Still is a big thing. Uh, but I tried to play in, like, I was, I, I've been in a lot of bands. Like, that, that was what my life was, just playing in bands and, and, and uh, trying to do tours and, and really trying to make a name for myself in music. But... I got I tried for like fourteen to twenty seven. Those were the years I tried to to do it. And it just <clears throat> it just didn't work out for me. You know what I mean, just uh, that that's all what it was. It just when you when you when you play bands and stuff like that, uh, there's a lot of other people that are in the group with you, and a lot of people in the band with you. And like obviously when you get older and things like that, they get more commitments and life gets a wee bit more complicated than just committing yourself to a full time band. Just isn't viable for some people. And uh, so it just kind of lost its way a wee bit, but still massively, still a massive part of my life. Just the past couple of years, I've, I've switched over to this, and it's worked out a wee bit well and taking up most of my time, you know? Good, right, right. that's it. And see, what was your first ever, like, video that kind of broke out, you say? It was a video called a Hangover Hotline. Right. It was just, it was like, see, when I started doing it, like, hey, I, I wasn't doing the football stuff and all that at the start, I just... It was just something I thought I wanted to do. Like I've got a pal who does my, is part of my my my, my film crew. Part of like he does my camera and the made and things like that. Like uh, we played in bands with each other for a long time. And I remember just one day we were just sitting going, Justin, you fancy, you fancy maybe just doing uh, some sketches? I've got some funny ideas and all that. So at the start of it, it they were just sketches about everyday things. And I mean like road rage and stuff like that. And just really try to find my feet. And I made one called the Hangover Hotline. Uh, which was basically, if you were pissed the night before and you woke up the next morning, you can't remember anything. You, right. phoned, a, you phoned a hotline and they told you everything that you'd done the night before. Okay. And uh, that blew up, man. I think that fucking night, that had like a fucking million views in like two days. Uh, that was the first one that proper went wild, man. See, that's quite a good idea, man, actually. It's, <laughs> it's just stupidity, man. Who would, I mean, who would ever... That makes the content. I know, but who would ever want that in real life? Who would ever want a hotline where they could phone up and see that they've made a complete arse of it? <laughs> Mate, I've done a video, I think it was a couple of months ago, because I've done the most random videos, man. See my YouTube channel? It's completely mixed. There's yeah. never, like, one specific thing I keep, keep doing. And it's purely because I like experimenting with so much different stuff. Aye. Yeah. Right, I know that if I stuck to one thing, it might blow up and stuff, right? Because that's what's actually happened to my wee brother. He started playing, I don't know if you know, Arc Evolved. The, I the, do, the, I, I, I know a lot about it, man. <laughs> he, start, he started playing that. Well, he's played it for years, right? But he started mm. uploading it only about a month ago. Right. And he's on 2,000 subscribers. Tell me on, man. Mate, he's blew up with it, I swear to God. And the amount of editing proper things he puts into it, he's, he's blew up, man. I've got a pal who keeps on telling me all about it, man. And just, that game sounds surreal. <laughs> you know what I mean? I know, just honestly, man, I don't have the time for it. See, the thing is, it's like real life time in it, I'm sure it is. Uh, I think it is, mate, aye, aye. So, aye. like, if you leave your base or whatever, and then you go back to it a day later, it's like the right time and all that. It's, mate, it's, too it's, mate, it's a wee bit too much for me. I love these kind of games, man, but just, from what I've heard, it's just like, 
too much just details. Like it just sounds stressful, man. <laughs> uh, mate. You know what I mean? I went on it once, and one of my pals had like pterodactyls and stuff, and I just uh, played a pterodactyl, man, enjoyed myself. Dragons <laughs> and all that shit, man. No, uh, <laughs> dragons, so. uh, no, like I've done like so much random videos, man. I, I love my football challenges, but the one thing that a lot of people are surprised about is when I tell them how I made my videos. I've done it all through my phone. I've never used my computer. Right. But see, edit. I've mm-hmm. done it all through my phone with iMovie. That I've used. Uh, mate, I, I still use iMovie. <laughs> mate, it's good. That's what I'm saying. Mate, mate, some I'm of, jo- I, I there's, some it, of, there's some of my videos that have uh, went on to BBC Scotland and uh, got millions of views that I literally done on iMovie. Mate, it's me. <laughs> it's just so. I think it's see having it in your hand. I think it's so Aye. much easier instead of having it use the PC. Aye. Definitely, no, I mean, like, but the, with, the, with the iMovie version on your phone, it's a wee bit restricted. I use the, the iMovie version on my Mac, uh, but I've used the iMovie version on my phone several times. For, when I just need to use something quick, like uh, the BBC will get a hold of me and I'll be like, Can you do something about this football game today? And I'll be like, Right, and I'll do like a 30 second video and it's edited on iMovie on my phone. Then an hour later, fucking thousands of people are watching it. And you're going, It's done that fucking half an hour ago. <laughs> you're going to be also in the only excuse now. Mm-hmm. Is that a proper dream come true? Extremely. Massively, man. Uh, I think everybody grew up watching it. Uh, it's, it's iconic. It's, it's, it's one of those things at New Year that you watch because, I mean, it's like on like half an hour before the bells, so it's like you watch it because you're waiting for the bells, but it also is a thing where you can't miss. It's, it's just one of those things. It's something that like, the majority of Scottish households, that's where they grew up. Uh, watching whether they liked it or not and then you just kind of find that you know the characters really really well and it's something you look forward to so i man it's a uh, it's ridiculous it's, it's a ridiculous thing but uh, it, it, it's, it's something i've been working towards for, for a number of years uh, so i'm glad i managed to get it well end of the day right this has obviously been the worst year possible yeah for wives right obviously with the whole covid situation and stuff right Aye. and obviously we're getting to a turning point hopefully now right and stuff and obviously next year hopefully it's going to be a change for everyone a good mm-hmm. year but how does it feel that going into next year literally half an hour before the bells everyone's going to be drinking but fast and mv and champagne just, and all that's, that that's watching, just me mate watching you <laughs> watching me. you before the new year do you know what i mean that's it's surreal funny. mate it's I, brilliant I, mate I think, I, I think the only word for it is surreal that's that's the only word for it uh, it's, as I say, it's a, it's, it's a mixture between, like, uh, knowing full well that that's what I was trying to do for such a long time, so there's a wee bit of, like, a, a, a wee bit of, uh, I don't know, like, I'm in, I'm in a, I'm a wee bit modest about it, but at the same time, there's like one half of me is going, no, that's good, but the other half of me is going absolutely fucking mental, going, that's unbelievable. I have your track, I'm about it, can Thank I? Thank you. Uh, that's what I was like when I was on, when I was doing the sketches, man, and I can't say too much, but... I can imagine everybody knows that there's going to be a Frank Mac of anyone, and uh, being in, I was, I was in a few of them, and uh, to actually see that right in front of your face, like uh, John and Watson I did, uh, dressed right. as Frank Mac of any, you go, I've watched that face for 20 year, 25 year, and now I'm standing in a room watching him do it. I mean, so it was moments like that. It's just a wee bit surreal, man, and you, you kind of just get took back a wee bit, going. Fucking hell, man, this is a bit mental. I definitely. Am. I was going to say as well, one of my favourite videos that you have done would definitely be the one about, oh, what was that again? It was the one about Celtic fans, I think it was Obsession. <laughs> I was actually supposed to be for all on his goose last year and they never took it. Oh, was it? Aye, aye. Okay. So last year I was a writer on it and uh, they never took any of my ideas and uh, so I took this year to kind of develop myself and, 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 and really. I took the ideas that they never took, like the ones I felt. I don't know. It's it's, it's maybe a it, it's a it's a weird a weird thing to describe. Of I knew they were really funny ideas, and I was wanting to do them in one hand because I knew they were really funny. But on the second, uh, on the other hand, I was thinking I'm going to show you how much you've messed up here, not using Aye. these. <laughs> Aye, and uh, and uh, we went and we made obsessed sketch, and we made the Deluda Mill sketch. I don't know if you've seen that one. Aye, Rangers aye, fans. Right. So they were the two big ones that, that I wrote last year for one excuse that they never took. So and they were my two biggest for last year. You know what I mean? Well, yeah. if you're ever doing any future sketches now, and you do instead of acting it, I'm round the corner if you want a deluded Celtic fan. Well, there has been talk. <laughs> I, I've a, there has been talk about doing a 
doing a, another fake advert for Billy the Mole, but uh, doing it for Celtic fans. And I don't know, I mean, I'm, I'm, in, I'm in two minds about that one as well, because I like the fact that I made Billy the Mole for Rangers fans. That was That's their thing in the obsessed aftershave was for Celtic, so I, I'm not I'm no sold completely on the crossover idea. Uh, I don't want people to think I'm just reusing old jokes, but uh, but the way Celtic fans fans are acting right now, and the way like, Neil Lennon's acting right. right now, Neil Lennon especially, uh, he's definitely been on a, on a fucking case to delude them all, man. So I'll see. <laughs> I can agree with that, man. To be fair, <laughs> I'll definitely so, see. I mean, it's been tough times for me recently. <laughs> 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 I think how Rangers fans have been for the past 10 years. I know, I know. <laughs> I know. I you know, that's what, that's what I've been saying. I've got all my pals are Celtic. I've got like maybe five or six Rangers fan pals and the majority of them are, the other majority of them are Celtic fans and they like, can die hard. And I mean, the meltdown to my pals in the past month has been ridiculous. I've been kicked out of group chats and everything. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, still, still no way back in. And, uh, <laughs> and I'm like to myself and all my Rangers fan pals are like, look at it, man. They can't even handle half a season in Rangers fans lasted fucking ten years. Do you know what that is? I mean? It's purely just because it's this one season, do you know what I mean? I said that. That's said what's that. killing it. And the thing is, we've had the heart set on it for years thinking it was pretty much set in stone. Right. And it took a bit of shock and realisation. See, that's the problem. It took me months. I backed all my pals for so much, pretty much similar to you. And even though I'm a Celtic fan, my pals been against me because I was backing them. Right. Because I thought the only way to get forward was to back him, because if you go against him, See, it that's, just creates a diversity, and that's what's happening now. Well, that's mm-hmm. the problem. That's that's where that's where you and most Celtic fans have messed up. Like thinking that it's inevitable, these were going to get ten in a row, man. That's it was that's that was well, always going to be the hardest thing. And uh, if, if, if Celtic fans genuinely thought the Rangers were not going to do everything in their power to try and stop this, and then. Then what else are you going to think? But the, 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 the mental, <laughs> but the mental thing is, Rangers haven't actually done that much. The Celtic have imploded. No, uh, we made it worse for ourselves. Exactly, but, um, exactly. So it's a, uh, it's, 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 it's things like this that literally make my job extremely easy, man. Uh, it's just, <laughs> you know, <laughs> that's that, oh, mate. Jesus. So, what's your plans for the future? Are you hoping to kind of just stay in this, like full time overall, or? Yeah, uh, that's no, that's that's the plan just now. Playing like, land, uh, like your own TV show, possibly down the line, that kind of. That's thing. that's basically what Hingy was for. That's basically what a uh, only excuse uh, Hingy only excuse two weeks. <coughs> two things I can't. Can you still see no, me? That's cool. That's cool. Aye? Still see me? Aye, aye. I'm still aye. see you. Cheers, man. Thanks for us. I'm just gonna move because I can't fucking sit there. Uh, what was I going to say? A uh, long story short. The full long excuse thing was like a part of my plan a, for the past maybe five or six years. Only excuse hasn't been great at all, and no. a, I, I've been the biggest critic and and going like to myself. I mean, there, there's there's sketches in there and there's characters in there that are 30 years old. I mean, who's still relevant in this show? Mm-hmm. A, younger audience haven't going to have a clue who half these people are. And a, one of the big things was like if I'd done the football comedy, if I'd done that, and I if I'm bringing like a, a fresh new light into it, then hopefully there'll be a chance to maybe move forward and, 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 and get something new on, you know what I mean? So Aye. the full thing with that, but like massively, obviously respect all my excuse and everything they've done, like the producers of that show have, have a, worked wonders for me, man. They're like, I, I, I can't thank them enough. But this being the final year for all my excuse, I think they've seen it themselves. They, there's a, there's a there's a line. I, originally in my head I was thinking to myself, there's no reason to scrap it. I, I thought it would have been a better idea to kind of just maybe hand it over to somebody else and keep all an excuse. Wait a minute, last year for it? She's the last year. Is it? She's the final year, man. There was me just about to say to you that I thought you were going to be like the guy to take it over in the future. Well, no, there you go. Well, weirdly enough, it, that's that's what uh, that's what we're trying to we'll push towards. If it works out, it works out. If it doesn't, it doesn't. It's just I'm just I'm just going to continue doing my, my everyday thing, man. And, and uh, things could change, and, George. I mean, things could change easily. Well, that, that's that's the thing. So originally, I, I thought to myself, if this is a, uh, well, excuse me, maybe just pass the torch over to somebody new, and they'd keep a, and, and they'd, they'd keep that going. But no, they want to scrap the full thing. So oh, God. it works in my favour quite a lot. <laughs> I know, <laughs> definitely, man. I I take it you've also met John from Watson that then. I've been in. I've done a few sketches with him uh, over the weekend there. Uh, oh, like, was it meeting him? Is that the first time you've met him? 
he's tiny man. Right. <laughs> he's like extremely that. short. <laughs> I'm gonna say I've watched him on obviously I take it you've watched that two doors down and that's stuff. That's brilliant, man. Aye, it's really it's funny. Phenomenal, it's man. Really, really funny. I think maybe that's what he wants to do more of. I don't know. I obviously I can't speak for him and I don't know too much about it, but personally I think that uh, that's maybe taking a little bit too much of his time. And uh, right. and that's what he's kinda gonna go for because all his goose has had that deep decline in the past couple of years. But uh, but aye, man, he, he, he was lovely. He was absolutely spot on. The first time I'd met him, he uh, was really, really nice to me. He talked to me, he made done everything. Uh, as I say, the producers on the show, uh, Phil Differy, his name is, uh, he's like, he's the guy that wrote this Phil show from, from day one. He's like a fucking juggernaut in Scottish comedy, man. Like, he, uh, aye, just constant. Uh, he's a really, really good pal, man. He got me, uh, he got me the gig. And he, he's keeping tabs on me and, and kind of taking under his wing a wee bit, which is just fucking... Mind blowing, and uh, but I man, so uh, this is the last year, yet, so it's ridiculous. I bet, I, I'm actually pretty sad. For that. I, bet I did not know that. Well, there you go, that, that's an even better reason to tune in next year. Oh, uh, no, it's not, uh, not next year, sorry, uh, tune in this year. Well, this year, I was going to say, unless I'm watching it in BBC Ibla. That's it, but, yeah. uh, but no, man, that's pretty much it. That's cool. So it's crazy as well, like to think as well, like if this is the last year, I managed to write some things for it and I managed to go on it, so I'll be part of the final one, the final one, man. You know what I mean? And I think that was what the that was the wee uh, was like the wee hidden message and that kind of thing. Like hopefully, like uh, to get me in the last one uh, because I've been pushing the Scottish co- the, the Scottish football comedy and trying to do the new face of it. Uh, right. To to get me in the last one, like as it says, the producers kind of put a lot of strings and got me like some. I, I was I can't say too much, man, but I'm in a few sketches where that are just ridiculous you know oh, funny. And, uh, uh, and it's like ones that are just me and Jonathan watching on our own so it's like kind of passing up the torch kind of thing Aye. hopefully hopefully as it says fingers crossed mate that would be brilliant man I know we'll see we'll see man I definitely, you know? definitely so but no it's been good talking to you mate anyway definitely man but, uh, what about yourself what have you been up to uh, nah not much mate just like I said secretly working away uh, Yeah. <laughs> Can't obviously say that much you now. <laughs> uh, no, I'm trying to do YouTube, like I said, as much as I can. And the football challenges have also stalled now because of the whole lockdown and parks being closed. And Aye. yeah, there it's hard to kind of get a part to do them and stuff, man. So it is. But as soon as I get back up, we'll try and get you involved in a couple. Definitely, mate. You know I mean, definitely. Mate, yeah. good day. Fucking superb, man. I mean, uh, cheers for getting, cheers for getting holidays, man. Cheers. It's, it's, it's a very weird and surreal thing that people actually like to talk to. Oh, of you course, know. mate. But I was even more buzzing at the fact that I found out you were Coke Bridge. I didn't know That's that. crazy, mate. I know. I know. Literally around the corner. I know. I could, <laughs> probably, I could probably hang in the window and see you. I'll get a car, maybe I'll be driving. That's it, mate. That's it. That's it. I mean, but no, mate, that's, that's crazy, man. So it is. And like cool, I said, man. well done. Well done, Mervyn, well you've done. And well Cheers, done mate. For New Year and good luck for it. Do you know what I mean? Thanks very much. Well, that's the thing. I hope, I hope to Christ it's like, hey, I've laid it on a bit thick. <laughs> We people and I'm like, and there's a lot of people that may think I'm in it a lot more than what I'm up, mate. I'm not, I'm probably no, mate. In it. I'm in it for like maybe two minutes, man. I mean, <laughs> being, being actually in the show for literally a second is yeah. good enough. And this, this, the sketches I've wrote for it, I'm not in them, uh, and I don't know what they're like. Like, I don't know. Uh, I, I don't you've know only seen the sketches you've done. I've only seen the sketches that I've literally been in. I've been I, in. I've, oh. I've not seen anything else, and uh, I've wrote a few. Uh, that I'm no a party, I'm no in them, uh, which they shot on a different day, so I have no idea. I'm just, so when it comes to when it comes to coming on and hogging with Amy, I'm as clueless as everybody else. I don't know what it's going to be fucking like. I imagine, man. I know if you're buzzing me adrenaline for it, so. Aye, I'm, I'm not going to watch it, man, Andy. I'm over I'm not going to get my mum and dad to watch that because that'll just be a fucking redneck. Right? <laughs> if, it's shite, if, it's shite, <laughs> if it's absolutely shite, man, I'm not going to be in it. You want to hear from me for a month, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, man. You know what I mean? Right, Deny I was ever on it. <laughs> <laughs> but normally, like I said, I'll keep in contact with you and we'll get something else organised in the future when this COVID thing's passed. Even Definitely. before then, I might even get a wee video chat organised. So, I'll yeah. even do it after the only excuse episode just to see what, how you thought of it. <laughs> Again, if it's shite. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do I'll do if it's shite, I'm in the enemy. I mean, I don't know what you're talking about. I've never done any of that before, mate. I'm on the chippy. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> uh, I mean, no worries, man. I fucking, as I say, you've got my, you've got my details, man. You've got my stuff. If you just, just give me a shout whenever, man. Like, it's, uh, it's cool to do these things. I've done a few of them. I, I do a Rangers podcast as well that might be extremely biased of me. I, I never wanted to do like to, it was always really funny like people not knowing what team I supported uh, and then 
our Rangers podcast got on me called True Blues, man. They're really nice guys. I've uh, seen them actually. Uh, really nice guys, man. I like, do you want to come on and do one? Because there was a lot of controversy about who I actually did support. And uh, I was like, fuck it, I'll come on and do one. And then it just became a thing, man. I've, I've, I think I've done it like three or four times. And uh, I'm trying not to make a, a massive thing here. I'm trying not to, I'm trying to still remain as, as, as biased and as, as balanced as I possibly can. Uh, but at the same time as well, I'm, I fucking support Rangers, man. I don't care. <laughs> Mate, you don't need to hide it. Do you know what I mean? Because exactly. the end of the day, you still take the piss out of both sides. Oh, definitely. Absolutely. Like, everybody, they know that, that as well. It's, it's me. As soon as Rangers... I've already got my sketches ready for Rangers making an ass here. You know what I mean? Oh, have you? Oh, fuck. They've they're, they're, they're written months in advance, man. <laughs> That's fair enough. No, man, right. 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 Uh, I'll put your social medias down below as well. Cheers, man. Thanks very much, man. As well, right? Yeah, I and, like I said, we'll keep in contact and I'll catch you later, mate. Definitely, mate. Nice one. All right, mate. All right.